Hi everybody, this is Carrie with just a quick call video. Um, I went out today, first time in weeks because of the COVID and because of the ice storm. And uh, went to a couple of my favorite craft stores. Not too many because I was tired, but I had a doctor's appointment anyway, so I went out. Anyway, I went to uh, Tuesday morning and I went to two different Hobby Lobbies. If you don't already know it yet, or just as a reminder, you only have through the 28th to use your uh, Hobby Lobby coupons. Since you can only use one a day at your local store, uh, you'll need to go, you know, have it or often you want to to get that done. Uh, of course, you can go to more than one Hobby Lobby and use coupon at each, which is what I did today. I went to two. So, uh, first off are the things that I got for 40% off. And this one, the uh, Paper Studios on sale this week. So, you can always use more envelopes. I wish they had the 6x6 also. But I went ahead and got me some 5x7s. And uh, also, uh, one of the items I get there with the coupon, because they never seem to go on sale, is the scotch tape for my ATG gun. Uh, tape gun. And I didn't need this, and I'll have to decide if I'm going to keep it or not. But this is the Tonic Tim Holtz Glass Media Mat. I already have, as you can see here, the Crafter's Companion Mat. Uh, this is significantly bigger, but then the glass is only so much of it. And then it's got this mat area over here with a removable nonstick mat that I don't know what you do with all that. So I'll have to uh, watch some videos and see uh, if I plan on keeping this. I do know it comes in a right and a left hand version, but I think at Hobby Lobby, they only have the right. This is, you can see up there, I don't know if you can on the sticker, but it's listed at $39.99 and with the 40% off. Uh, you'll be able to get about $16 off of that. So it put me in the $24 range. So uh, I thought it was worth at least checking out. I think I paid somewhere around $20 for the Crafter's Companion one. So not too far off once you factor in the coupon. It's pretty heavy though. Okay, so then I noticed that Hobby Lobby's having one of their major uh, clearance specials and they seem to do this periodically i'll go in and i'll see a bunch of red stickers sometimes it's in a clearance section sometimes they keep the items if there's very many of them in their normal area and so uh these were some things i did not go in for but that i always would have an interest for and so let's start out with ink and i was surprised to see this but they had tim holtz uh, distressed oxide inks not necessarily every color they have, but several of them here, as you can see. These were only $1.49, and you see they're normally $6. So even when they're 40% off, they're going to be more than $1.49. So really good deal there. Like I said, a pretty purplish, uh, light blue, darker blue, uh, aqua, yellow, and green. And then see a pink or a red, at least at this, my store that I went to. And I did not see these marked down at the other store I went to. They're, your mileage does seem to vary by the store you're at. And then the other ink I got, I wanted to try one. Of course, I only had one on the clearance rack at the other store. But this is one of the uh, Make Art ones. It's a uh, dark brownish. They call it Potting Soil. And that was $1.24. Then when I was in the Cricut section, they had several of the infusible ink pens uh, at $374, normally $14.99. I wanted to get more of them, uh, the standard primary colors and different things, but um, it, it was already running more than I wanted to spend at the store. So I just got these uh, for the unicorn colors I thought they'd be good for. Then I've been hearing about Yupo paper with alcohol inks. I haven't tried it before, but they had some of that. I probably should have gotten another pack. But either way, they had this $374, normally $15. And so that gives me a chance to try this, make some pretty cards with it. The other thing they had in that section was alcohol blending solution. I don't know how it works out with my pens, if it's basically the same thing that's in your blender pen or what, but... I went ahead and got that because, well, $1.49. Um, the other item I got, let's see here, let me get these out. I got some stamps. And these are, I got one stamp ability and a couple of bow bunnies here. And I can always use more sentiments. So that's the two that were there. And then I thought this was really cute with the space stuff. For the stamp ability one. 
Then this was also on clearance, $1.24. These are like petal envelopes and card. And I thought, well, for all those fills, I could maybe make that as a template. So I got that to try. And although I don't need wood stamps, uh, the, you know, they supposedly stamp uh, CRISPR images for text. And well, $2.49 got me six stamps. They weren't necessarily all Christmassy, so I was pretty happy with uh, the statements that are on them. And then my last item was actually from Tuesday morning. I really didn't see a whole lot there. They'd kind of been picked over for anything uh, Crafter's Companion or Spectrum Noir. Still have a little bit left, but that I didn't necessarily need or could at least resist. They have had their old packaging or previous packaging on the uh, Spectre Noir tri blends. I think they have a new grouping now. Uh, they had this in a there's a pink label one, a red label one, a blue label one, and now they had the purple label. And at $12.99 for six pins, I mean, that's just over two bucks a pin, and I cannot buy on that cheap. So, I've been slowly replacing my original Spectral Noir. It's not the classic, just regular that I got from a lady. I've been slowly replacing those uh, one by one with the tri blends. I really like them anyway because it makes it easy when you're coloring something. Oh, well, just go darker, darker, lighter, lighter. So, what do you know? So, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to like and share and subscribe. And uh, tell all your friends about it. And we'll see you again soon. Be sure to go to your local uh, Hobby Lobby before you can't use coupons. And look for some of this clearance. Bye-bye.